taking uh, Ayurveda tablets for the last one, one and a half weeks. So, so there are a lot of uh, issues in my body sorted. Okay, well, you know, do you think Ayurveda is the best medicine in terms of when, whenever you are not okay, you are not feeling well? I think so, because you are not going to harm your body, you are not side effect. And people have a perception that in Ayurveda there is a lot of time, but I don't think that there is a lot of time. If you are अपनी हैबिट डाल लो आयुर्वेदा लेने की या होम रेमेडी की तो शायद आपको एलोपैथी की जरूरत ही ना पड़े ओके कितने ही सुन शुरुआत कर रहे हैं या क्लिनिक खोल रहे हैं क्या कहना चाहेंगे यू नो देयर द पीपल हु आर सराउंडेड बाय दिस एरिया नो देयर इज देयर इज क्रेजी केमिकल्स फ्रॉम मैं तो यही कहने चाहूंगा लोगों से कि आप भी ट्राई कीजिए आयुर्वेदा डॉक्टर रवि है और काफी नॉलेजेबल है काफी टाइम से वो पेशेंट्स को देख रहे हैं बहुत सारे पेशेंट्स को ठीक भी कर चुके हैं अपने आयुर्वेदा का ट्रीटमेंट से काफ़ी कुछ ऑयल्स हैं इनके पास जो उन्होंने मेरी मदर के लिए दिया उनको आर्थराइटिस है उनको रातों को नींद नहीं आती थी अब एक टैबलेट भी दिया उससे उनको वो हेडेक्स कम हुए हैं नींद आना अच्छा शुरू हुआ है अगर आप अपना थोड़ा सा समय देंगे डॉक्टर रवि को तो मुझे उम्मीद है कि आपकी भी जो शरीर की दिक्कतें हैं वो दूर हो सकती हैं एट द मोमेंट माई फिटनेस मंत्र इज वट एवर रेमेडी आई एम टेकिंग दोज Because I never believed in uh, Ayurveda, but uh, last one and one and a half week I was trying and I was taking first thing in the morning uh, uh, aloe vera juice with haldi, haldi powder, and I'm taking uh, jo with jeera powder. So, वो मेरे को इतना आराम देते हैं मेरी जो मुझे पहले गैस थी मैं बहुत एंटीएसिड खाता था उससे कभी ज़्यादा ठीक नहीं हुआ थोड़ी देर के लिए आराम मिलता था लेकिन अभी पिछले डेढ़ हफ्ते से मैंने कोई भी किसी भी चीज़ की मेडिसिन नहीं खाई सिर्फ आयुर्वेदा की मेडिसिन और घर की रेमेडी क्योंकि एलोवेदा मेरे घर के अंदर उगता है हल्दी मेरे घर के अंदर उगती है उन्हीं को पीस के मैं सुबह जूस पीता हूँ और जीरा और जो का पानी पीता हूँ ओके बहुत सी बहुत सी फिल्में बन रही हैं क्रिकेटर को क्रिकेटर की दुनिया के ऊपर बायोपिक बन रही हैं यू नो रंग से बन रही हैं जो धावा के उनसे बन रही हैं आपकी लाइफ भी बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग रही है शायद आप अगर ऐसी कुछ खबरें देनी है तो मैं अपने ट्विटर के थ्रू दूंगा उसको ज्यादा फेमस करूंगा बजाय आपके टी आर पी बढ़ाने के Uh, Viru for being here. In fact, we uh, never knew something like this could happen, and it's it's an international figure, our our hero. I mean, he's our our Indian national and international hero who is right here. He's a legend, and the legend is here, and he's trying to help us out. We are indeed extremely blessed. Thank, Thank you, you so much, Viru. That's Thank you. Thank you. That's humbly we we bow to you and we are no graciously asking you to give your energy here for us now our arha is our dream now what arha means shiva now it's the shiva consciousness that we want to bring now what arha means is basically dissolving all your negativity inside and bringing positivity to you we all always think that healing happens through medicine healing never happens through medicine because medicine never helped anybody i will tell you what happens we decide to get well viru said i want to get well now i want to get well is the mantra so you are ready to do something to get well and not depend on the medicine the medicine cannot think it cannot even do anything to you Like if there are two people taking the same medicine, the medicine cannot think that for person A I will work like this, for person B I will work like this. Medicine just does its small job. When we decide that we have to get well, the medicine becomes a catalyst for us to go to the next level. Mostly, the most important thing that we need to understand is our consciousness to be happy inside. we have to bring an element of happiness and peace none of us are having it today i'm requesting that this has to go to the common public that please start bringing a happiness quotient inside you nobody ever felt sick when they become happy 
even when you have a headache, when you go, when somebody, some of your best friend comes to your house, the headache vanishes. Your body aches vanish when you have a good function in the house. So there is an element of happiness that is there. Happiness destroys sickness. So this is what I want to tell all you people and which you need to tell the world. Please don't depend on medicine. Depend on your happiness quotient. That is underlying, that is our own strength. Today, Arha, I come from the ancient school of Tantra Shastra, Yoga and Ayurveda. My guru trained me for four and a half years in a Gurukulam in Kerala. I'm bringing that knowledge and there is Dr. Rushali. Dr. Rushali is an MD in Kaya Chikitsa. Kaya Chikitsa is internal medicine. Now through what I'm doing is my knowledge is being put on to our Panchakarma center where people can experience hearing through Kaya Chikitsa. So what is happening here is that people understand that they come here for healing, they don't come here for medicine. We're making it extremely clear. So Arha gives a lot of psychological counseling. It gives emotional counseling. It empowers people to get well from inside. And then home remedies are given as uh, as a tool for people to understand that they're consuming. It is sometimes it's a placebo, sometimes it actually works. It all depends on how you take it. But people have to be empowered to get well. That's what we do. We spend lots of time with them. We have lots of time for people who come to us. We don't do consultation in a way that you come and you run away. People come to us, they are ready to surrender to us. We are ready to surrender to them. We are ready to invest our time in them. They want to get well. I do not prescribe medicines. I prescribe only home remedies. Dr. Rishali, she prescribes home the medicine, she prescribes treatments. We need to understand that there is a combination between life and healing. There is in every, in all of us, health and illness go together. We have to understand that we can fall sick. Falling sick is not bad. Falling sick will naturally happen. Healing also naturally happens. So please understand that we should be ready for both. If you are falling sick, you know there is a way to get well. But you need to be ready to get well. Let's work for that. I think uh, my mom uh, having arthritis for a long, long time, migraine, cervical, everything. When doctor met my mom and he told me one thing that uh, you just keep reminding her she is not sick. And uh, I was just telling uh, my uh, mother and telling my brother, sister, just whenever we meet, uh, whenever we uh, chat with my mother, just tell her that you are not sick. So she was having uh, injections for last uh, six, seven years. Now, doctor asked me to stop that. And she is coming uh, to his center, spend at least uh, 10 days here. And uh, you will see, and I will also see that, you know, she will get a lot of changes in her uh, body and mindset because it's difficult for old people to uh, understand that uh, Ayurveda, uh, Ayurveda is work for them. They think that only allopathy can work for them. So that's why I'm bringing my mother here. So she will spend 10 days and she will get benefit. Just one last question. Yeah. What would you like to tell the Indian people? Because Ayurveda is something that has been in India for so many centuries. So uh, one takeaway from you for Ayurveda as well. I think so many people are using Ayurveda. I've seen, I met a lot of my friends who are seeing Dr. Ravi and they told them that for last 10 years they are not taking any allopathy for anything. So they are taking home, med or, or home remedies and the medicines which uh, doctor provides them. So and they are, they are okay, they are lawyers, they are judges. It's not that they are small people or they are, but if they can do that, why not the common man? Sir, India first match is not here. Cricket is not here. For this work, there are 297 pranayamas in the Pranayama Sutra. Sutra is basically writings which go on, which explain a, a, which play, explain a philosophy. Now, I have been blessed to teach all of them. People know only two, three pranayams. So the Kapalabhati is called a pranayam. The Kapalabhati is a kriya, it's not a pranayam. So through we, I, we here in this clinic, we empower people through pranayams. We empower people through kriya. We empower people through marma chikitsa, which is a, which is a forgotten art. Marma chikitsa heals very, very fast. We use pranavidya. 
people are understanding what is pranic healing we have something which is way beyond that which is there in our own vedas it is called prana vidya in fact uh, i have a uh, two three very close friend of mine who were traveling in in the flight and they had a problem just before they got in they were miles away i could treat them right there they are here if you want you can ask them so i could use my own energy to treat them when they were not even in front of me so we go beyond time and space and we are able to we are ready to heal this is our ancient knowledge we are wanting to pass this on pass this knowledge to everybody this knowledge is not ours this knowledge is given by our rishis we want to give this to people we want to pass it on it is our indian science we need to be proud of it we all need to use it we all need to benefit by it we all need to be happy with it i am actually asking pleading for everybody to please come we are not here to make money we will go away in 20 years we will vanish this this country our motherland has to survive we all have to be happy we should be able to tell our own children that uh, we have a science called ayurveda which is powerful we are passionate to help we want you people to come ayurveda is survived for past 3000 years but the science which is already proven for so many years just cannot go wrong here also we are doing a lot of panchakarma therapies which are around 17 to 18 type of therapies in classical text and only through nadi pariksha we can decide that which treatment is required in other places what happens that people just come and they do therapy without consulting doctor without consulting a qualified person and they just go ahead here it is not like that there's a lot of personal attention given and we are always here and always take, keep taking feedback yeah. from the patient that how are they if yeah. there is if there are any changes to be done we immediately do it we have a process called nadi pariksha we practice as we are practice a nadi pariksha called ravana nadi ravana was a sage in 1560 bc who wrote the ravana sahita so through nadi pariksha everything is understood we don't want modern reports modern reports are just numbers we actually tell patient not to bring any kind yes. of reports we tell people what is happening in their mind what are the predominant emotions what are they thinking we read their minds we tell people don't tell us your problems we will tell you so people know that we are, are actually genuine we tell people what are the problems they have why they are suffering from when they are suffering how they are suffering what are their ailments which part of the body their ailments are there which organs are working why these organs are not working and how to get well we tell people don't depend on us we will teach you how to get well we will teach you how to how to become well medicine if i give you medicine it becomes irresponsible because you will only take the medicine but you will not do anything we expect the medicine to work we actually tell you how to get well how not to depend on medicine depend on yourself because when you came out of your mother's womb you didn't come with medicine you came with a blessing we are telling you go back with a blessing seek god's blessing and please learn to live your life well and learn to enjoy life that thank is the so only thing we have thank you so much thank, thank you. you dr rushali is if this is her clinic she has been it's ours right now <laughs> we have been struggling for 27 years and god finally blessed us with an angel actually with an angel <laughs> an international icon today this angel is important for us to get our world across no because i doctor checked my nadi because hum logo ne purane time mein suna tha ki vaid aate hain nadi check karke dawaiyan dete hain ya treatment batate hain to wo अब दोबारा से शायद मुझे पहली बार एक्सपीरियंस हुआ है मेरी नाड़ी चेक करके मुझे पता चला मेरे बैक में प्रॉब्लम नहीं क्योंकि टिड्डी में थोड़ी सी प्रॉब्लम है जिसकी वजह से बैक में प्रॉब्लम आती है तो लास्ट वन एंड हाफ वीक से मैं ट्रैवल भी कर रहा हूँ सब कुछ कर रहा हूँ बट माई बैक इज ओके थैंक यू थैंक यू टू मी that something very big because actually i should be saying thank you to him because he he accepted to see me i mean that is most important for us there is no harm to see doctor ravi he will tell you better things to do
टेंशन मतलब मेरा फोटो दिखाओ पार्ट फोटो पार्ट में कुछ नहीं है जाने दो जाने दो 